are an excellent drill to really work on your skills for your toe touch. There are three areas that we're going to concentrate on. Firstly, your upper body. Strong arms, keep your chest up, and really squeeze your core by keeping your hips under. This will prevent your chest falling down during your toe touch. Secondly, you really want to focus on snapping up and down as quickly as possible. Toe touches don't just rely on flexibility. They rely on your ability of speed and power. Thirdly, we're going to concentrate on really keeping that toe super pointed so that you really get the maximum effect of your leg power. So we're going to start in a T and we're going to go down, kick up four times, one side and then the other side. Let's try eight. And five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This time we're using squats to drill cradle catches. So we're going to go from the upright position of when we're throwing and then bending low but catching high with strong arms. So here we're going to look at it from the side. What we're doing is after we're catching, we're really trying to focus our technique on catching by bending our legs, keeping our arms strong and high, but we're really focusing on that posture to so making sure your hips are tucked under, the core is strong, so that it's easy to catch and rebound back up. A lot of times we see bases catching with their back bent this way or even like that. Not only that's really dangerous, but also it's not going to give you the power to rebound back up. So from the side, it looks like this. We're going to dip, throw high, catch high with our hands and really dip those legs. So let's try at five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rebound jumps are an excellent way to drill your tumbling skills. What we're drilling here is we're going down as if we're landing from any tumble and then jumping up nice and high and really pushing those hips forward. So I'll show you from the side. You're going to go down, keep your back straight as if you're landing from any tumble or jump. Bend your legs and then as you bend up, arms go all the way up. You're really squeezing your core and pushing your hips forward. So you're going down and pushing forward. Let's try eight together. And five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So your jumps, your basing, your flying, everything when it comes to cheer can be corrected by having a really amazing posture. And the only way that you can really train that is by being inverted. Press against your elbows and make sure they're neither too wide or too narrow, like this. Go up into a pike. Don't rush this because it's not going to work if you rush it. You're going to bend in and go up into a ball. Once you've got this, extend, keep it strong, and you want to make yourself as long as possible, keep your hips tucked under, and really squeeze with all your might. We're going to focus here on the movement that your legs are supposed to take and your ankle rotation to get your hips to tuck under during a toe touch. When you're doing a toe touch, you want to rotate the ankle upwards so that your hips go under. If you go out like this, your hips will push back. So we're gonna go slowly. We go out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Other side, one, two, three, four. Rotate up, good. Then we go fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
As the name suggests, this is going to be a much more intense workout. You're going to be sweating, you're going to be working hard, you're going to be on the floor, and you're going to increase your power, your strength, and your flexibility. Everything to make you a much better cheerleader.